All right, folks. Hey, Tommy Cow here on the lawn with you. Not much of a lawn, but I do have some grass poking through. And I would run over there and help these guys. Today's a big day for Carolina. There's a guy with a Carolina Panther shirt on Julius Pepper's number. But we got a stuck car. These guys will handle that. But yeah, we've had some cold temperatures, about six inches of snow and ice here. Uh, cold, cold over the last couple of weeks. I mean, we've been down into some really low temperatures. 15, I believe. 14 was about as low as it got. Those guys need some help. I'll give them a hand. Come on, get out. See, the snow plows come down the road and they pile up a big pile of snow right there at the entrance of Brant Ridge. And then, you know, you can't get out. But uh, I want to show you this thermometer talking about cold. This right here is a Galilean thermometer. And basically, I want to talk about how this thing works. Um, what you have in here are, is a glass cylinder filled with water. And then a lot of spheres inside that are equal volume. Now what you have here is two forces working on this thing. One of them is the gravity of each one of these. And you can see the weight. There's a weight, uh, actually a temperature reading, which isn't that accurate. These are not extremely accurate, but will give you a pretty good idea of the cold. Now the forces that are working here on the Galilean uh, thermometer on the principle of a uh, Achille principle um, where you know you've got the volume you have buoyancy of the floating sphere and then you have the gravity force of the weight of that now what happens with water when it gets warmer the density of the water becomes less dense and usually what you'll see is that a lot of these will sink to the bottom the weight of it as the water increases in temperature now a lot of these were on the ground this morning when the temperature in the, uh, was about you know 28 degrees but everything is it's about 41 right now and it's all raised back up to the top usually what you'll find is the temperature reading on this like this one right here is 60 that's 50. I mean, we're below, so it's not going to be accurate at this temperature right now. But usually you'll have a few of the heavier ones down here in the bottom. And if you have one that's floating right here in the middle, and it's 75 degrees outside, and the water temperature 75 degrees, and that baby is floating there by itself, that's usually a very accurate reading of the temperature. Right now, I'm just saying that that water's cold. And the density of the water is very high, and everything is floating up to the top. Uh, kind of give you an example. Uh, it's the volume of this. They're all equal in volume. Um, and things that are larger in volume tend to have a better buoyancy. If you remember going to the beach or go to a pool, and you'll see some of the bigger guys, they could float, you know, just floating on the top of the water where skinnier guys would sink. You see this a lot. But uh, basically what they've done is put different liquids inside these balls. <clears throat> Some of them contain alcohol. Like those red ones at the top are probably, the, the, they are the lightest. And they'll rearrange themselves. They can float by each other and then give you a real good kind of a middle of the road not like a thermometer that contains mercury like Galileo invented this one works on the same principle of uh, the buoyancy and the uh, gravity those two forces working against each other I hope I explain this but basically the way you read this is you know, it's really not accurate right now because water is too cold it's definitely below 50 and we're not getting anything but I thought that was kind of pretty to look at so's the snow and maybe we'll get to see some grass here we've got some irises and things that'll be poking their heads through this snow soon but Tommy Cow it's signing out with the Galileo thermometer and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video subscribe below if you like this stuff go to growinggreen.com for more great videos we'll talk to you later hope you're having a great one bye bye